Hi, my name is Erwin. After over 30 years in the airline industry, having worked my way up from loading bags and boarding passengers to getting my commercial pilot rating, and working as an entrepreneur with my wife starting her own software publishing business, we were living the American dream. Then came the housing crisis of 2009, which created a career change to aerospace and a job at the Boeing company. Like before, I worked my way up from an airplane mechanic to quality management, culminating with the delivery of our airplanes to the customer. Along the way, I developed many technical skills that I use today for my other passions, cars and vintage motorcycles. Well, the coronavirus changed all that. So in 2020, after 12 years, I retired from Boeing, allowing me to pursue my dream of combining all of my passions, real estate, cars, and bikes, and share my knowledge with all of you. So please join me on my new lifestyle adventure. Welcome to Realty Rides. Kind of confused matters and, and muddy things up a little bit. Good morning you guys and work. welcome to vlog number one of Realty Rides here in Seattle, Washington. We are located here on Whidbey Island about 30 miles north of Seattle and this is where we're based and this is where we live. My name is Erwin and I'm an entrepreneur and a, and a real estate agent for John L. Scott here in Langley and today we're going to give you a little brief tour of Whidbey Island. It's about 48 miles long. We're going to start off with Clinton, work our way up to Langley, Coopville, Oak Harbor and then end up in Deception Pass which is the connecting point, the bridge that connects would be island to the mainland so buckle up enjoy the ride and uh thanks for watching us this is our first vlog very excited to be on on uh, youtube we've been on instagram for over a year and now we're reaching out to a much much broader audience and uh to share all of our experiences with you this is a lifestyle a lifestyle channel it's not about just about real estate it's also about all the passions that i have i love cars and motorcycles and i love airplanes so we're going to kind of mix all that together make this as interesting as possible so thanks for watching and just buckle up and enjoy the ride. Thanks for watching Realty Rides.
So within minutes after arriving off the ferry, you can drive to scenic Glendale Beach, and just down the road is Deer Lake, which offers swimming and boating. Clinton also has ample shopping and eating locations. But for now, back on SR525, because next is Langley. A few miles off of 525, we enter Langley, which begins with its beautiful marina, which offers year-round boating with a boat ramp and moorage, in addition to fishing and beach access. And right across the street is lodging with the Saratoga Inn. So starting off on Main Street here in downtown Langley, we have the historical Clyde Theater, well over 100 years old. It's one of the original old-fashioned style movie, movie theaters that is very neighborly and very homey. We like to come here on the summertime and see great films. Unfortunately, because of COVID, it has been closed for the last year. But as we're walking down the street here, this is Main Street Langley. There's lots and lots of little shops, uh, art galleries, little restaurants. Um, savory restaurant here is a restaurant that just opened up. Looking forward to eating there. It's a very charming little town. It's about uh, 10 miles away from the Whidbey Island Ferry, but close enough to stores and all the facilities you could possibly want here on this island. Here's a little pet store, Pet Lover's Place. And Nitty Pearls, if you want to knit, create your own sunshine. Like I said, it's just a, a town full of little art galleries, and clothing stores, and restaurants. It's like going back into time, you know? It's like going back 50 years when everything was simpler and there were still big box stores. And people just had a nicer, quieter, slower pace of life. Here's the Prima Bistro, great restaurant. We go here in the summertime when it's nice and warm. We sit outside on their balcony. They've been closed also because of COVID, but now they're opening back up. This is the Star Store, great supermarket. 
And across the street here, the famous Village Pizzeria, New York style pizza. Great pizza here on the island. And here is a little bit of a view of Puget Sound. That body of water right there is uh, a straight that cuts across. And over there on the other side is Camino Island. That is mainland island, but you can drive all the way around. It's uh, landlocked, so you can drive there as opposed to Whidbey Islands, that is, you have to access to a ferry. Or you can go all, all the way to the very north and go to Anacortes, and that's also connected by a bridge called the Deception Pass Bridge. But right now, here's a nice famous statue, boy and his dog. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a little tour of, of Langley. So some of the some of the restaurants here are eating us, are uh, having outdoor dining, like salt and sea, for example. People are so happy to be out. Today is Sunday and they're so happy to be out. They're riding bikes, they're walking and their families and their dogs. So it's, it's a good day. Anyways, not for now. Waiting for my clients to show up. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. All along 525 are beautiful wineries and vineyards with the most famous one, Green Bank Farm, coming up next. Green Bank Farm, founded in 1904, is a must-stop for visitors. It boasts a cafe with homemade Logan berry pies and several shops as well as wine tasting from its collection of fine wines. The serene, beautiful grounds is also a great place to relax. It's open daily from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Getting back on 525, we are now on to charming Coopville, home to the world famous Penn Cove Mussels and its historic waterfront.
Hopeful is the second oldest community in Washington and goes back over 100 years. It sits on the shores of Penn Cove, known for its mussel farms. Its Victorian homes surround the town with its many shops and restaurants. It also has the Coopville Wharf with its iconic red building and draws boaters from all over to its docks. One interesting factoid, in 1998 most of the buildings were painted white when the movie Practical Magic with Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman was filmed here. We are now approaching Oak Harbor, Whidbey Island's largest incorporated city. It is known for the home of the Naval Air Station Whidbey, and its growth coincided with the completion of the Deception Pass Bridge in 1935. It also has a marina with numerous shops and restaurants. At 180 feet high and stretching 1,487 feet long, Deception Pass Bridge was completed in 1935 and connects Whidbey Island to Fidalgo Island and the mainland. 20,000 cars pass over this bridge each day.
guys enjoyed our Whitby Island little mini tour today on YouTube. Again, this is our very first video. We're very excited to be on YouTube. We've been on Instagram for over a year. Uh, again, this is Realty Rice. This is all about lifestyle, real estate, cars, motorcycles, just having fun and having life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I missed a lot of Whitby Island. We're gonna get a lot more in the future. We'll do a lot more comprehensive videos, but right now I just wanted to give you guys a little background on where we are, where we live, and our beautiful island here with gorgeous Deception Pass right in the background. So have a happy holiday, stay safe. Please subscribe, please like, please comment below. And uh, I wish you guys the happiest of holidays and a great 2022 coming up and a lot more Realty Riot videos. So thanks for watching, you guys. We're excited to be on YouTube. Welcome to vlog number one. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching our quick tour of Whitby Island. We hope you found it interesting. If you like our new channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. So until next time, enjoy the ride.